time to check on the orchard. Well, after being gone all winter long, time to check and see how the orchard survived the winter. Pretty muddy looking, so it's uh, time to go four-wheel drive in this thing, and hopefully I don't get stuck. I really need to work on this roadway. Anyways, looks like I had probably about three tubes down. Um, those will be easy fixes, and looks like for the most part, the orchard survived the winter pretty well. Let's check inside the barn. All right, I gotta apologize about the audio. I'm uh, unfortunately Mike did not work on this, so I have to voice over this part. But uh, my uh, Kubota mower had slow leaks on the tires over the winter, but I picked this up and I love this thing. It's a uh, portable Milwaukee air compressor. Runs off your M12 battery pack. When you put the hose up to your tire, bottom number shows the current pressure, top one shows your target pressure. So you just set your target pressure. In this case, I want 30 PSI. Push the button and it starts running. And the next item on the list I noticed was that the solar power system was not working. That's a bummer. The last year I installed a 4,000 watt inverter with an MPPT charge converter and hooked it up to a uh, electrical panel, then ran outlets in conduit throughout the barn. That way I can run any 110 tools and power equipment. Also put nice LED lights to really illuminate this place. They work great, but my batteries are dead, so that's a problem. You see, LiPo batteries have a little anomaly uh, that make them different for, than uh, sealed lead acid. And I'm no battery expert on this, but this is my understanding of it, is that inside that battery box, the case of the battery, is a little BMS, a battery monitoring system. And it's a little computer that really oversees the charging and discharging of the battery. And if your battery gets so low that that little computer board can't be powered, it shuts down the battery. So in a way you have to jumpstart that little computer and you can do it sometimes if your battery has enough charge in it to maintain stuff is by taking another 12 volt battery and connecting positive, positive and negative, negative just for a moment to start up the little BMS's computer and once it starts up then your battery's back alive. Anyways, I tried doing that but my batteries are just too dead. Oh yeah, and I gotta put that battery back in the mower. So I pulled the batteries out, took them home, put them on a charger for a little while and uh, let's go reinstall them and see if this works. Alright, sorry I didn't video it but I got the batteries hooked up. My tripod was functioning. I was goofing up. The PV photovoltaic light is flashing, which means the batteries are charging. And as you can see up here, I've got 24 volts on the batteries currently. They need to charge more. And down here, My solar is producing 24.9 volts at 0.8 amps, and it's charging the battery slowly. So hopefully the sun will come out, and I can kick the inverter on and get a little bit of light in here. Sun, come out. I need to charge my batteries. All right, one of the progress checks I have for this month is I need to uh, fertilize the trees. First time I've uh, ever done tree fertilization this year uh, for this orchard. Um, but I think it's time to do it. I think they've had a chance to get the roots established. So, according to what I've read, I need four ounces of nitrogen per tree. So I went out and picked up some urea right down there. But now I gotta figure out how much urea to put on um, each tree. Uh, so, and I don't have a scale. All right, big brain moment. Got to think about this. What do I have? I can set up a fulcrum with a known weight and a known distance and should be able to determine um, how much urea to add per tree. 
All right, hold on a second. All right, this is what I've set up so far. I have one liter of water, which comes in at one kilogram, and I have a cup. And I've set up a fulcrum as close to the balancing point of the two by four as I can get it. So what I have is urea that is uh, 4600, which means it's uh, guaranteed 46% nitrogen. So if I need to put four ounces of nitrogen per tree, that means I need eight ounces of urea per tree. So what I need to do is convert eight ounces of nitrogen in freedom units to eight ounces metric unit. What the equivalency of eight ounces would be the metric unit running over and through computations I come up with eight ounces is equal to 0.22 so kilograms eight ounces is 0.22 kilograms now I need to figure out lever arms since the max distance I can get away from the center of the fulcrum is 20 inches 20 inches 0.22 kilograms one kilogram what's the distance that's x and the math comes out to 4.4 inches and that is what I have set up here one kilogram, 4.4 inches from the fulcrum. One cup, 20 inches from the fulcrum. So as soon as I start adding urea here, when this starts getting somewhat close to balance, then that means I've got close to eight ounces. All right, so let's give this a try. Get a big scoop of urea. And start adding. And there she just went. Oh, look at that. I think I got it. Look at this. Oh, that is just on. All right, just a little more. All right, that is as close as I can get it. It is touching over here, but just barely, but it's so light that if I touch here, it goes down. So now, all I have to do is take this cup and mark where the level is, and I should be able to dispense four ounces of nitrogen to each tree. So, time to go do that. Well, got eye protection, hat for warmth, and plastic gloves, so off we go. Well, that should definitely help the grass grow around the tree. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. I'll try to make more of them as the uh, weeks go by, as the new stuff is done up in the orchard.